so many good things. Who did second night of a back to back? It's a talented team. Uh, all those kinds of things. But uh, the big thing that hurt us were the technicals. Um, and two free throw rebound situations where we just had to come up with a ball. We didn't, and they got two threes on those. Um, so uh, very disappointing. You know, a fighting effort all the way. I thought uh, our guys really fought. Um, but on the second night, it, it just became difficult, and we needed some breaks. We didn't get them. Um, did you have a chance to talk to Chris about the objection or why he got so weird? Um, you know, I, I just, I just thought in that situation that you know, what you want to see is a veteran official diffuse the situation, um, not stare at the guy and dare him to keep talking. You know, and I thought that, I thought that Chris was wrong. Um, you know, but, but officials can walk away. In, in certain situations, and I, I would have loved to see that that happen right there. Um, as a young player, you know, uh, and part of part of this, you know, um, you know, I think officials can help players develop, you know, by uh, by diffusing that situation. So it was unfortunate. I'm not I'm not pointing the finger at the referee. I'm just saying that that's that's. That's what I would like to have seen. That's why I got the technical because I kept pointing that out, and then, then all of a sudden they gave me one. You know. Um, Will you give an explanation for what TJ got it said? I don't. I, I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said, but it wasn't much because he just was in and out. You know. Uh, but you know, it's uh, officiating's NBA games have got to be one of the toughest jobs in the world. There's so many, there are thousands of events that go on and you know, to get everything right is extremely difficult. And now that we got fans back in the building, you know, they've got to, they've got to deal with all that noise and commotion. And, and I don't, I don't envy them. What do you think of the way Don Morris bounced back tonight? First, uh, of this with the 20 after the day. Listen, he, he played well. I, I expected him to play well. Um, he's a tremendous player. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's as tough as our season has been this year. I, I don't know what we would do without him. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and again, I thought in the first half that the things were, were so physical. You know, there were a couple of times they called offensive fouls on him that I've got to look at the film on, um, but he's, you know, everybody is out there flopping and taking liberties on him. And you look at his arms and there's scratches and cuts all over him. It's just, uh, it's just a tough job that he has too. What did you think of the team's response to not having miles? I'm um, looking at the box score points of pair pretty even rebound was pretty even. It seemed like they all rallied to do what he does collectively. I thought we made, a really great effort. Guys followed a, a game plan extremely well. Um, we put ourselves in position. You know, we got the 12 point lead in the third quarter. You know, that was a point where we had to sit down and do everything possible to extend it. Um, and we had a couple of quick mistakes, and then all of a sudden it was down to eight or seven. And uh, and those are those are the ones. Those are the situations that really hurt. So. Um, you know, just just really disappointing, but these situations got to bring us closer together, make us suffer, and that's just that's just how it's got to be. Pat Boyle. Rick, fourth straight game where you guys were under 30% from the three-point line. Do you see this as kind of ebb and flow of, of a season, or are there correctable angles there? Uh, we had a lot of good looks. Uh, second night of a back-to-back is always going to be a little more difficult. Um, I've seen a lot of down shooting nights from three in the league. Look at Minnesota. You know, they shot 26% tonight, 25.7. Um, 
teams really are making a, a concerted, strong effort to limit the threes and contest them. And, and you know, it's, it's showing up a little bit in, in some of these uh, some of these games and scores. And, you know, I, I don't know. In, in many cases around the league, I look at three-point percentages and they look a little down.